हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज दिस कंटिलीवर बीम एंड टू ड्रा द शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम एंड आल्सो द बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ बीम विद द ट्राइंगुलर लोडिंग सो वी कैन सी हेयर इज ए यूनिफॉर्मली वेयरिंग लोड और वी कैन कॉल इट अ ट्राइंगुलर लोड is the load increases here from 0 here is 0 kN per meter and increases linearly to 3 kN per meter so it is a triangular load acting on this beam which is a cantilever beam only with one support we see here a fixed support i call it a for example this is a support so now to first of all we have to find the support reactions and then to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so i'm going to explain this in a very simple and easy way and just follow this method and then you can draw the shear force for such kind of beam or the bending moment diagram for such kind of beam in a very simple and easy method so the first step i'm going to follow is to find the support reactions for example it's a fixed support so it will have vertical reaction r a y in vertical r a x in horizontal because it's a fixed support and also the moment I call it M A because it is a fixed support, so it will have vertical reaction, it will have horizontal reaction, it will also have moment. But hence there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. That's why I called it this component of the reaction is equal to zero. Now we have to find only R A Y. So to find R A Y, we know that it's only one support, so all the load will be taken by this support. so there is a load of uniformly varying load of 3 kN acting on the beam so we can simply find the area of the load the area of the triangle which is a triangle in the area of triangle can be find out by this formula half base into height and now we put the values just here half base of the triangle is 4 meter you see here 4 this is the base multiplying with the height the height is here 3 meter 3 kN per meter so if we multiply and divide this value we got here 6 kN so basically 6 kN is the load acting on this beam so this is the area and this load will act on the centroid of the beam keep in mind if it was a rectangular load then keep in mind after you finding the area then the load will be acting at the centroid which means half of l l by 2 and l by 2 here but in our case we have a triangle load here you see here so this load will act at the centroid and for the centroid you, you may have learned in solid mechanics that the centroid for the triangle is one third of l from right side or from the higher side and two third of l from the lower side where this is a lower side means where it started from zero so this is the centroid of triangle now 6 kN of the area so it means that your whole load is 6 kN acting on this beam and it will be supported here by the support so we find out the support reaction in a very fast way so just to find out the area of the triangle and then it's your support reaction now how to find out this moment at a point so for this reason we have to find out its centroid now we find out that 6 kN acting at the centroid here somewhere 6 kN so i call it 6 kN now it's it's a load of concentrated load it's not a uniformly distributed or varying load it's a concentrated load so now we have to find out the centroid the centroid can be found out so here from this point up to this point it will be 2/3 of l and l is 4 meter here So we got this distance equal to 2.66 meter and this distance is 1/3 of l l is 4 meter but this is not important to me in this case because i will find the moment and for me this point is important this distance so and now to find the moment at point a so moment is equal to the moment arm sorry moment is equal to the force into moment arm 
now moment at a point is equal to the force is the load which is acting on the beam which is 6 kN multiplying with the moment arm the load creates a moment about point A so this will be equal to the moment arm will be the distance from the load up to the point where you want to find the moment so it is 2.66 meter we find out here 2.66 meter so by multiplying these two values we got the moment at a point equal to the almost 16 kilonewton 16 kilonewton meter so this is the moment here at this point at point a so i can write it here 16 kilonewton meter because it's a meter it's a moment so it's always a unit kilonewton in meter so now we find out the support reactions we can draw its shear force in a v in bending moment diagram in a very easy and quick method now i just want to clean my screen here i just delete this thing i don't need it anymore and also these things which i don't need it here 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 okay so now i will start with drawing my reference lines so these are the reference lines and this is the beam so this is the reference line for the shear force for example in kilonewton and this is the shear and this is the reference lines for the bending moment in kilonewton meter so now to draw the shear force we will start from zero zero so you see here 6 kN is acting in upward direction so we will start from 0 0 and we will bring up to the 6 kN and then this load this you see the load is increasing here in this way so now and there is maximum load here at this point so the maximum you see here at this point is 3 kN per meter and it's per meter it's acting on the 4 meter length so 3 so at this point how much will it 3 into 4 divided by 2 why because this is the area of triangle i explained before how base into height this is the maximum load of this uh, beam so if we find out this comes also 6 kN so it means this load will bring the shear force diagram here at zero point because now this load is acting in downward direction so it will be minus 6 kN and this was plus 6 kN so plus 6 kN was acting in upward direction and minus 6 kN is acting in downward direction so we got 0 here because they will cancel out so we will have 0 shear force at this point and also there is no support reaction so of course this point will be 0 so this is the shear force here acting at this point or the shear force diagram to draw the bending moment diagram what I have to do I will look into my bending moment value which is 16 kN meter so I will just write it here 16 kN meter at a point because this is a point so it's for example it's like here and then you see here there is no support there is no support at this point so of course when there is no support there is no moment so we will bring this up to zero here at this point so this is the bending moment here for the cantilever beam where the maximum value is 16 kN meter acting at this point a point while zero here at the extreme end because it's a cantilever beam and there is no support here provided so it must have to be zero so hope you guys understand how to find out the support reactions or the shear force in bending moment diagram and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video